This is nice work. It's new, isn't it? <laughs> you know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Such miserable luck to die by the sword you helped forge. Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. Tell me, boy, who are you? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who burned it to the ground? That's him. That's the bastard who led the attack at Scalitz and killed my parents. I'm sure we're all agreed that all this unrest must come to an end. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse and who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. The Ranger is balanced and all purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. All right, let's see what's up here. The world of Anthem is hostile, and threats can come from any direction. It's a dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. I'm not sure we want to use all our supplies on this guy. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. The story doesn't end here. What do we recommend in this kind of situation, Marcus? Being a bumper song. Yeah. We're making progress, Marcus. But he must be studying. Huh? <laughs> Everything is fine, Mr. Pierce. Wait, what the hell am I doing here? It was just a nightmare. I was there! Mr. Pierce, don't worry. have move. to get back you there. You have to rest. No, but the dreams, they, they were Only real! Only time can heal Die your affliction. To... Oh. Welcome to your first look at Identity Player Housing. This here is an apartment in Ash Hill. Uh, it's still not quite complete. We have a little more work left to do on interface and such, but even as it is, it's the most complete player housing I've ever seen in MMO. This inside is a two bedroom apartment, which means it can house two people, the owner and a friend. It starts off a little bit basic with uh, you know, low level trims on the walls and such, and uh, laminate flooring 
Oh, this can get upgraded. Almost everything is interactive, like this TV. We turned on streaming YouTube videos. Oh my god, what the f happened? All right, do me a favor. Call Epise Chevez or something. He's in the beginning of the list and tell him that ASDFZ is who can set laws and control taxes and need to make their own policies. And fun's really always the main focus here too. We're going to make sure that whatever you're doing is going to be fun and you're going to enjoy doing it. But with that said, we're keeping some things not so much on the traditional arcadey role of MMOs, but going more a little realistic when it comes to weapons, health, and vehicles. That is, vehicles are going to handle like real vehicles. They're going to crash like real vehicles. Weapons are going to shoot like the real counterpart in real life. We also understand that you're not always going to want to do something intensive like trying to make money or fight other gangs. So we give a lot that you can do in your downtime too. Fun little social things that don't really need to be done but you know why not there's something fun. Text communication exists but we've sort of downplayed it a bit compared to most other MMOs. Instead we're going for voice over IP which means when you speak into your microphone your voice is going to be coming out of your character and your character's mouth will move and everything accordingly. With this we actually created karaoke bars where you can go and sing and just have a fun time with friends. And if karaoke is not really your thing we have other fun stuff like cinemas. The cinemas are actually playing real movies. You can walk in, sit down with friends and watch an actual movie play start to end. We even have musical instruments that you can actually play note by note however you like. You can write your own songs, play anything you want. And to make that even better, we have places to play in concert halls that amplify the music that you're playing on stage.
Combat is your art, and mastering the medium is essential to becoming an Absolver. Upon arriving in Adal, all prospects have a core combat style and an initial combat deck. On their path to absolution, prospects will learn new possibilities and mix them to create their own unique method of fighting. Besides this, prospects can learn other combat styles by choosing a mentor and staying loyal to him or her. Prospects can choose mentors as they meet in the world. Through their loyalty, prospects can learn additional combat styles and use their mentor's combat deck. Steal yourself, dear prospect. Combat instincts may come natural, but refining your combat style and combat deck is key to both basic survival and victory in the lost lands of Adal.
few dare trespass here. Those that do seek the glory of the hunt. To challenge themselves in a land like no other. But they never find glory. Only death. I'm not here for glory. I'm here for the mountain. For answers. Then you must face the beast that guards it. So we're now en route to the docks to find Sean and understand why he's fled away from the hospital and probably killed another patient, Harriet Jones. As a vampire, you have access to skills in combat as well as outside of combat, often to help you traverse a semi-open world. The most efficient way to grow stronger is to feed from the healthy, not to fight those risking the flu and pollution in the streets to hunt vampires and skulls. If we were unable to beat this mini-boss, we would be tempted to return to the bar, and perhaps feed from Tom for a greater experience boost, returning stronger, but with London thinning in numbers. Vampire's combat system uses a mix of melee and ranged weapons supported by vampire abilities that allow you to be the vampire you want to be. The gameplay is based on timing, positioning and management of different resources. The stamina bar regulates your melee moves and dodges, the blood bar controls the use of your supernatural abilities, and the health bar represents your health. Let's move. 
to take me down. Nice one, Ranger. This has never happened to me before. 